The next thing I will show you are three similar extensions and they can all hide fields or tabs. Let's start with this menu that I scroll through here. Let us say that I never, never need this recurring profiles. So there's actually no need for me to see it, to have it. Okay, I'll use this as an example. The three extensions I find here under settings and they are here hidden menu fields, hidden category fields and hidden product fields. You can see hidden admin menu field status. I have enabled it. And here we find the recurring profiles. I hide it. You can see there are very many I can hide or show. Excellent. I save. And now we have a look. The menu item recurring profile is gone. Is hiding. The next one is about categories. Let's go into the categories. I select the first one. You can see here the different fields, meta tag, description, meta Let's go into data, stores. I only have one store. There's no need for me to, to see this field. It's not that important, I would say, under categories. But I have it anyway. Let's see, I go into settings again. Into the hidden category fields. Stores is here. I hide it and I click save. And let's go into a category again, the data tab. And as you can see, the field stores is gone. Next and last is the very, very most important one. It's about the products because we often edit products and you can see here there are some fields called SKUUPC, EAN and so on. All these fields I do not use so I have selected hidden. Okay the developer has chosen some other words here hidden or visible in the other ones he called it hide and show. Let's see, I make uh, SKU visible. I go here into, I select the products, the data tab, and you can see here is the SKU. I go back to the setting, product fields, and select this one hidden, click save, go into a product again, the data tab, the SKU is gone. As you can see there are very very many fields that you can either Hide or show. I like these extensions very much. Very good made, very useful.